Hey, uh, Covenant Boy here. I am actually currently in over near my front door. Right now, um, kitchen tables are right here. And um, all the way over here is the kitchen. It's a messy ass kitchen right now, so don't even worry about it. But um, yeah, I decided to just make a standing up video. Because um, I'm going to be telling y'all why. I was inspired to join the Marines. And um, I will be getting into a lot of detail on this. Some of it I may get upset about and pissed off or just like, just upset in general. So I just want to say, well, it's not viewer discretion as advised, but mm, I'm just going to go ahead and say viewer discretion as advised because I may get um, angry and, um, violent, possibly. So, yeah. So, if you think this video deserves a viewer discretion as advised, warning, there you go, it's at the beginning, deal with it. I, I'm not about to put it in fucking letters, because, um, when they can clearly hear it, Viewer discretion is advised. It's better than putting it up in letters, because then once the video starts, you don't get to read it. Okay. Here's how I was inspired to join the Marines. Um, I have an uncle spent 12 years United States Marine Corps. Um, and he was my idol. I mean, he was a true hero to me. And um, I had never got to see him much. And then one day he actually started showing up more often. And I didn't remember very much of him, but all I remembered was he was a Marine. And um, I've always wanted to be a Marine ever since I've met him. Um, I, I've put in a lot of work on myself to want to even consider becoming a Marine. Because I honestly, if I wasn't making a video right now, hold on. You see that pull-up bar right there in my bathroom door? I would be on that right now, working out. Because, um, what time is it? It's 10.44 right now. Exactly, 10.44. And if I wasn't making a video for y'all right now, I would actually be on there, hitting that, and messing with this weight. And I mean, I've really pushed myself. I put in more time working out on my upper body than I do with cardio. Because they're going to make me do hella upper body strength. And I can just do cardio in the military because cardio to me isn't as um, important. Even though some of you are going to probably comment down below, oh yeah, cardio is way more important because I spent this, uh, this long in the military. And, I mean, I understand I should work on both, but... Damn, my nose looks big from the lighting. What the fuck? Yeah, the lighting makes my nose look fat as fuck. But, okay. Um, other than my nose looking fat as fuck... Um, I mean, my uncle, he really inspired me to be a Marine. He really has. That's why you still see that... Navy uniform hanging up on my wall because um, I did join in JRTC sadly I'm going to a school that doesn't have it um, and I mean it sucks it does I actually have to go tomorrow return that and my shoes, I don't know if y'all can see them. They're shiny black shoes. 
used over there, yep. I gotta go return those tomorrow. Holy shit, the camera's about to fall. But my uncle Sean wanted, made me want to be just like him. He's a soldier by heart, and I might be the next infantry, javelin gunner, sniper, support. I mean, shit, or I could be the next engineer for the military. I mean, it's all within what I do with my life and where it's heading towards my military career. The only reason I haven't given up on my dream is because I believe that if I work hard enough towards it, I will eventually accomplish it. No matter how big, no matter how small, I will always accomplish it and achieve it. So for y'all who are thinking about giving up right now on your dreams, just know that anything's possible. I'm living fucking proof of it. I honestly, I had no... I had um, barely any education going through the third grade. I literally had no education whatsoever. Because I went to a shit stick, fucked up school that taught the same shit each year. Each year we were learning the same shit. And it never changed. Not one bit. And the only reason I have any better education is because I moved middle school, elementary schools. And, um, yeah, I mean, you move a school, you move from one shitty school to a good school that actually teaches you more stuff and you get held back for it because that other school didn't teach you the proper stuff that you were supposed to know. And that's the only reason I'm not as intelligent as I am and I'm a slow learner. I mean, that's it. But when I want to learn something that I want to learn, I'm gonna apply myself to it. The only problem I have is with education is I don't apply myself at all. But um, some of you are going to say, oh, yeah, well, the moment you apply yourself. Because I don't apply myself because I don't like it. I don't like school. I don't like education. I don't do none of that shit. I cannot stand school whatsoever. I've, I mean, some of you are going to say, oh, yeah, well, you have to pass school to become a Marine. No shit. I know that. But sometimes you think you're not going to do it, and then you fucking do it. And next year, this, well, not next year, but next semester, I'm going to be back in the same fucking grade. for missing school, not applying myself. So for all y'all who hate school like me, don't do what I do. Seriously. It's not gonna help you at all. It's just gonna make you struggle even more. And with me wanting to be a Marine, the motherfuckers ain't gonna take me if I ain't got a good education. Same goes out to all you younger kids that are about, about two, four years younger than me that want to be in the military. Maybe even exactly my age. Just apply yourself. See how far you'll get taken. I never did apply myself. I'm surprised I even made it high school. But I'm speaking the truth right now. If I just apply myself more, Shit, I could already be graduating with a class of 17 like I'm supposed to. Only if I would apply myself more. 
I'd be in the actual grade I'm supposed to be in right now. And um, back on the subject of the Marines, um, my uncle Sean, he actually was going to take me to a shooting range and let me train with him. And he was going to train me himself. And afterwards, um, something happened and um, I lost contact with him. I have not talked to him. And... Um, about maybe a year and a half now. I have not had contact with him. I have any, every time I've called him, he wouldn't pick up. Every time I've texted him, he wouldn't text back. And it's fucked up, I know. But, it's whatever. But, um, really sucks, really does. Molly. Quick. But, yeah. I mean, it really does suck losing contact with one of your family members that was going to help you train to become a Marine and shit, and then they never text back or call back, and fucking sucks. So, I'm basically working on my own self. I'm basically turning my own self into my own. I'm going to teach myself. And I've been taught discipline. I've been, I've already been disciplined. I, I stand at attention. I salute when needed. I salute all high ranks, officers, sergeants, commanders. Because if you're, if you're a military type person and you see that sergeant or officer, or chief petty officer, or whatever branch of the military it is, no matter what it is, you salute them no matter what. And no matter where I end up, if I don't make it in the military, I've got backup plans. My whole life, I've dreamt of joining the military, and I'm not stopping till my goal is achieved. If I don't make it, I'll still have YouTube to make videos for y'all, and I will, I will have a whole lot of other areas that I can go towards, snowboarding, um, Not so much of gaming anymore, because I don't play games as much. If I play games like I used to, I could probably get paid to game, but... Ah, shit. That's not what I want to do. It's going to fall again. Oh, well. I'll hold it. That's not what I want to do. I want to be a military soldier. I'm not going to stop until my dreams are achieved. Matter what you're doing, 24/7. Always pack a lip or a cheek. I'll catch y'all in the next video.